Titans season has given us enough thrills to last a lifetime, and now only one game remains, and it's the one we've all been waiting for as EA Sports is proud to welcome you to coverage of Super Bowl 52 from two-year-old U.S. Bank Stadium in Minneapolis. Tonight, it's all on the line. We play for the Lombardi Trophy. Shifty Deion Lewis. And he will lose yardage and be backed up to the 24. It's a loss of a yard there and now second down. Okay, there's a tone setter. First play from scrimmage. Stuff him in the backfield. You know what they were doing last night in the hotel room? <laughs> Visualizing it. <laughs> that. That's what they were thinking about. Making that play. Having leverage. Lower than the offensive lineman. Getting into the offensive backfield. Knocking someone down. Just what you said. Set the tone early for this game. Jeez, you are fired up. When I see a play like that, I can't help it. <laughs> On third and long, it's Brady. Amendola catching it left side. And he's able to get up here to the 26. Just a five-yard pickup, and it leads to fourth down. There's an example of good situational football being played by a defense. They understood where the third down play was, the down and distance, and made sure that they didn't get anywhere near that, bringing up fourth down. Yeah, they were sniffing out that marker, didn't want to let him get close to there, and now a likely three and out to start. Yeah, I love the way they rallied to the football, got to him, and made sure they didn't give up much run after catch. Well, that'll be put in the books as a 53-yard punt. And the Saints will take over with a first down and 10. Play fake here on first down. Oh, he's going to air it out right away. Almost able to intercept it. That's one he would have liked to have held on to on this first drive. Instead, second down. So the incomplete pass brings up second down. Former Heisman winner, this is Mark Ingram. And able to break one tackle, but then quickly brought down. But a nice little gain. A six-yard pickup on the ground that time, and that'll make it third and four coming up. They go play action for Ingram. Now Breeze. He'll let it fly in the direction again. It's caught inside the 25. Touchdown, New Orleans. With a first touchdown of this Super Bowl and a long one at that. And the Saints have taken the early lead. And on the grandest of stages, with the whole world watching the Super Bowl, they come out and get the first points. I don't know how you feel about Brandon, but for me, watching the beginning of the Super Bowl, I've often wondered how come it's not just a fumble fest? How come the ball's not all over the place? The nerves, the interim in between of the two weeks waiting for the game, but this team came out and handled it just like it was a regular season walk in the park. Terrific start. That'll be taken in the end zone. And he won't return this one. He'll go down to a knee, and they'll start at the 25. So out now comes the offense back onto the field. And on the first drive, three and out. And I know that these are professional athletes, but I would imagine sometimes you, you get the nerves at the beginning of a game still, don't you? Those don't ever go away. And typically, what I've heard from guys and what I remember from playing, if you don't have nerves, it's... Now the ball comes loose, but this will fortunately wind up out of bounds. And I have to admit, partner, that I've often thought that I don't like this rule where the offensive player fumbles the ball, it goes out of bounds, and they get to keep it. <laughs> that's just because you're a defensive guy. That's why you don't like it. Yeah, you're right. It is a slanted view, isn't it? But that's this is where, for the offensive team, the sideline is their friend. Usually it's not their friend. Yeah, exactly right. I actually played for a guy in college. You know what he used to name the sideline? Sammy. Sammy sideline and use him well. Okay, he didn't break that one all the way, but you got to know that he feels like he's right on the verge, and that's probably exactly what he's telling him in the huddle right now. On third down, it's Lewis, and he'll lose yardage. Brought down at the 32. 
So one quarter down here in the Super Bowl. 7-0 is our score. We'll return after this message. You're watching the NFL, and it's right here. Alongside Charles Davis, Brandon Gordon, it's the Patriots in possession to begin quarter number two. They are, however, facing a fourth down situation. He gets this one away, and boy, it's another boomer. Here's Gim. A nice job on the return there, 16 yards. And that will come the offense as they take over. So the football switching hands here in just a second. And, you know, Tom Brady, just to go off on a tangent for a second, may have lost the Super Bowl. But third MVP this past season, and what he did at age 40, really something, right, Charles? Absolutely phenomenal. Ended up beating out Todd Gurley, the running back for the Los Angeles Rams. But he would have traded it for a Super Bowl win, don't you think? How about this? The last nine NFL MVPs to play in the Super Bowl that same season, 0-9. Yeah. He went all the way back to Kurt Warner in, what, 1999, 1999 when he won the double? We were going over that stat earlier. That is hard to believe. But he would have been the MVP had the Patriots pulled that one out. Yeah, he still has five rings, though, five Super Bowl titles for Brady. They go play action here on first down. And Hill with it over the middle. It's a pickup of 16 there, and it'll lead to a new set of downs. Two minutes remain here in the first half. We'll come back to Super Bowl 52 after this. A reminder, coming up at the intermission, we'll get highlights of this Super Bowl from Larry Ridley and the crew in Orlando with our EA Sports Halftime Report. Looking left side and completing it to Thomas. And he's going to get this inside the 30. Another nice gain, 13 yards that time, and another first down. The Saints put up 29 points a game last year, second only to the Falcons, and they're in range to get some points on this drive as well. First and 10. Throw left side, taken in by Hill. And down inside the 15 he goes. 15 more there, and they're on a roll. It's another first down. There are so many things to watch for when you play defense and reading your keys. You always hear about that and having your eyes in the right place. Sometimes your eyes can fool you. How about that play action there? That sprang the big guy, didn't it? Able to dump it over the top to him. And he'll fight his way down right around the 12. Just a yard on the pickup there, and it'll bring up a second and nine. Well, they didn't get a whole lot out of that one, but I think you've got to continue to try and run and try and keep the defense honest. You mean, or also just sit back, dare you to throw it on every down? Yeah, you get your quarterback hit a lot that way, too. The field goal unit on the sideline. They're going to go with one second left. The final shot before half the breeze. And it's caught. And he couldn't quite get there. Tackled down at the one. So both teams have their marching orders, and we'll get going again here in quarter number three. This fielded at the two. <laughs> then he'll take this across the 25, a couple extra yards up to the 27-yard line. Out come the Saints now. They'll go on offense first here to begin the third quarter. They have the lead. Now they'll be looking to extend that lead. And this is where I enjoy talking about one of my favorite subjects, tendency breakers, or counters, as I also like to call them. You've done things in a certain way. Ted Ginn's going to go. 30. Pass the 20. Second touchdown of this Super Bowl. And the Saints now add six to their lead. Still plenty of time left in the game, but now starting to pull away a little bit. Get some breathing room with that one. And I don't want people to think that NFL locker rooms are cookie cutter, that everyone's saying the exact same thing in every situation. But I do know that all 32 teams have an emphasis on starting fast. Game is to be in on second half no matter what. With his first five minutes, first three, whatever. This was a big score to start the second half. This is fielded a couple yards deep. And he'll get across the 20 before he's brought down at about the 23-yard line.
Here comes the Patriots offensive unit. They'll have it first here to begin the third quarter. And this is their third drive right now. Maybe not about points, just about getting something. They haven't gotten a first down yet in this game. It's a mental barrier you don't think about until you go a couple of drives without getting a first down. Then all of a sudden it looms big. It gets harder and harder to actually attain that first first down. No gain on that run, and while this team is down, they're not out of it by any stretch of the imagination. Maybe you just have to think about different style of running in order to get this guy going. Now Brady. And this one taken in on the right sideline, but not in the field of play. They say it's incomplete. The throw led him a little too far. It brings up third down. Let's face it, if you want to get back into the game, these are the kind of throws you got to hit. He's wide open right there got to be able to get it to him, don't you think? And those are the throws that haven't been available to them every time he's dropped a pass. Yeah, that's a big miss. Another drive comes and goes, still nothing on the scoreboard. Yeah, and when the second half comes, you know, it's real easy to get discouraged and wonder if you're ever going to get things started. You just got to fight through it. Got to keep pounding away. Here's Ryan Allen now as he's on to punt for New England. Now it's Ginn. Oh, and now he bowls him over. A great return there. Bobbin and weaving his way for 31 yards. And the Saints will have a short field in front of them. They take over here, first and 10. Breeze now on first down. He throws and he hits the slant route to Thomas. And he's going to go out of bounds, taking it down inside the 25. And the play goes for 19 yards, gives him a new set of downs. And defensively, they were in zone covers there. Do you have to be a little careful you're losing playing against a good quarterback like he is? to not play too much zone. Yeah, you have to be careful about how much time you're giving up. I think it's a good point you just brought up. So maybe if you still want to play zone, if you go to a zone blitz scheme and you can drop anyone out of your defensive front, defensive end, defensive tackle, it doesn't matter. You just exchange someone to bring more pressure towards the quarterback and still try and cover downfield. So the offense has it, six yard line, first and goal. Try to pound it in, Kamara. And now running right through him. And he's going to get him about three yards closer. He's down to about the two. And they're going to hurry back to the line now. Second down, the ball on the two here. Second and goal. And he'll barrel his way into the end zone for a safe touchdown. A great play there. Taking it in from two yards out. And the Saints add on to their lead. When you talk about a battle being won in the trenches, that touchdown right there, a lot of credit to the offensive lineman. Yeah, when you watch them surge across the front, they really created great space for the runner to get in. Morstead, the punter, out to kick it off. This is fielded a couple yards deep. And a pretty good return here. He'll be stopped just shy of the 25 at the 24-yard line. Brady now on first down. And now a fumble. Brady loses the football. Nowhere to go here. He lost the football. And this is picked up by the Saints. And he'll score. Touchdown, New Orleans. And this defense has been extraordinary all season. And that might just be the cherry on top. What a play there on the fumble recovery touchdown. Maybe it's time they get a nickname because they've played like the great defenses of the past. The Steel Curtain. One quarter remains in Super Bowl 52. We'll return with more after this break. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. That's fielded in the end zone. 
And no run back here. This will be a touchback, and it comes out to the 25-yard line. Out comes the New England offense to see what they can do this time. And let's just say they're going to be looking to start over on this drive. A few moments ago, they were in the exact situation, but their first play led to a fumble that was returned for six. Yeah, you definitely have to have a short memory to play in the NFL. you got to remember what you did wrong so you don't repeat it. But you can't dwell on it because then you will repeat it. And that's what you don't want to do. It's hauled in by Brandon Cooks. And he gets this one just shy of the 40. They'll mark him down at the 39. 14 yards is the pickup there in a New England first down. If he's their best threat on offense, use your number one cover guy on defense. It doesn't matter about size. They have had him locked up. That just his first catch of the game. Big reason why they're down. And he hits the running back, Deion Lewis. And he's taken down, but not before he gets this into enemy territory across the 40. A really nice gain of 25 yards. Two minutes to go here in Super Bowl 52 from Minneapolis. We're back to crown a champion after this. So the Patriots with the football as we get you reset. And let's see what they've come up with offensively after having time to talk it over. On first and 10, here's Brady. The throw left side, complete to Hogan. And he'll go down at the 28. Give him nine there on the first down completion. Now they got to get to the line quickly. Now Brady again. And Cooks hands it over the middle. And they do get him down, but not before he reaches the four-yard line. That one goes for 24 yards. They come out five wide, three of them to the right side. Again, they'll throw with Brady. This is caught. Nice job defensively to hold him to four, and now it's second and goal. And when you're playing a quarterback with some experience and some moxie, you enter the danger zone when you decide to blitz him because if he's able to diagnose as he did on that play, he can hurt you downfield. He reads defenses so well, doesn't he? He really does, and the best part about that play for him I don't think that was his primary target. I don't think so either. I think he had the read, figured out where the blitz was coming from, and went to a secondary target for a really nice game. Another wayward pass. You know, things started out poorly in this game, and to be frank, they just really haven't gotten much better. And all that does is... And that is caught. Well, they're going to see this one at the end. They get a score, but pretty much an exercise in futility right now. Still down big. So they will get on the scoreboard here. Give them credit for that. Too little, too late, but no zero. Oh, you go, you're going slow clap on me. <laughs> Not very nice, is it? No, but they haven't been very nice on offense. It's been a struggle. So that winds up a seven-play drive all told. And it ends with a New England touchdown. Goskowski now out to kick it away. That's fielded in the end zone. And the decision to bring it out will cost him about five yards as he'll get this only back to the 20. Out is the Saints offense now as they get ready to take over here. They have the big lead here late. They protected their home turf well, didn't they? They certainly did, partner. And just think about how good that feels because Every team has a goal when they start to... There goes Mark Ingram. The 40. 20. And he will finally be taken out of bounds. It's a big play there for the Saints. 67 yards. Big run here in the fourth as they continue to wear down this defense. And that's when the offensive line coach clicks onto the headset and says, head coach, offense coordinator, let my guys fire out and hit people. We're wearing them down. Let's finish them off with the running game. It's a gain of nine yards. And it'll be second and about a yard to go for the first. And the Lombardi Trophy is headed back to the bayou. The New Orleans Saints, Super Bowl champions. 
And when this moment comes, I think you look back at all the blood, sweat, and tears, the offseason, the workouts, training camp, week one, two, three, all building up now to say you're a Super Bowl champion. It's worth it. It certainly is, and rarely do we have a team that hoists the Lombardi Trophy that didn't have their share of bumps along the way, didn't have to face some adversity in the journey, and now they get to just enjoy it and revel in it. And all offseason, They'll be signing their autographs with Super Bowl champion underneath it. year just how everybody wants to end the year holding the Lombardi trophy what a season for them what a ride it's been for us as well here in the booth for Charles Davis and our entire crew I'm Brandon Gunn thanks for watching everybody we will see you next season right here on EA Sports